show you a bit of a weird video today. I literally just got these out of the mail and I'm so excited to have them both. I thought I'd share it with you guys. I've literally just took them out of the box. They're not open or anything, so I'm gonna open them with you. I figured I may as well share my excitement with someone who also gets that sort of buzz when you get uh, games in that you've really been looking forward to. First impressions out of the box. I am quite surprised at how small the Rocketeer is. I don't know why, I just assumed it was like a normal size game. The reason this one's sitting here, I got this Friday, no, on Saturday, um, I picked it up from my daughters and I'm going to play this today. So that's why that's out. I thought I'd put that there as well because it's a new game and this is an acquisitions uh, video. All right, I'm gonna open the Rocketeer first. Have a look. I love both these movies, by the way. You probably can see behind me, I've got The Princess Bride there as well. I'm one of those geeks. Right, let's crack it open. It's got those sticky things on it that I loathe. It's a nice looking box though. It's got the, um, like the gold gilt thing going on. So that's lovely. I still can't believe this got a release. Um, and they announced it the day after I made that Rocketeer meeple. What are the chances? Very cool. Prepare yourself for a shock. I'm the Rocketeer. The Rocker Who? Okay, so the instructions as usual from Prospera Hall, they do good uh, family weight games. So you can usually learn them pretty quick, teach them pretty quick and play them pretty quick. So the rules are teeny. What have we got? Include in the back, frequently asked questions on the back, 11 full pages and then the, and the FAQ on the back. And as you can see, it's smaller than your usual uh, rule book. And there's plenty of images as well. Great. I'm being super careful. Not of cutting myself, of damaging something. I know you're all the same. Don't even pretend. Nice. And then on this side, we've got, looks like places that we go to when we're playing the game. I don't know anything about it. I literally bought it because it's a Rocketeer. I'll pop photos up like I always do. It looks nice. Zee the figures. They're not too bad. They're that, they're that weird sort of plastic. So they're not, um, they're not expensive by any means, but they're not, they're not too bad. There's not a lot of detail in them, to be fair. Yeah, they look like maybe they were um, modeled off a, like a cheap resin printer, one that doesn't do a lot of detail, and then they've molded them. But they'll do the job, and we've got a little standy here, I'm assuming for this blimp. Ta -da! Quite a chunky deck of cards here. The heroes, we've got the villains, current events, Los Angeles, that's pretty cool. Old newspaper styly and a couple of reference cards. A bag of pre-punched tokens. So we cardboard in search. So these are quite secondary characters. So we've got Jenny, lovely Jennifer Connolly, PVP body, Lothar and Eddie Valentine. Nice thick card. They're not, they could be thicker, but they're, they're, they're good. We've of course got Cliff and Neville Sinclair. Oh, this looks like some kind of flight path board again. Not too shabby. Lastly, we've got these little mini cards, finale cards, and the plans, and little blueprints of the Rocketeer's backpack. That is that. Hopefully you've enjoyed the pictures that I have popped up if you haven't seen uh, what it looks like before you saw this video. I'm excited to give it a go. We'll, we'll see how we go. They do do good games. Funko are bringing out some surprisingly good games. Um, sadly, they do not um, support Aussie uh, reviewers, however, which is a bit of a pain because it means that I usually get things late. I'm surprised that I got this so early. I just lucked out and saw it on an Aussie retailer's page and I was like, I'm in. So there we have it. It's the Rocketeer. All right, let's look at the Goonies. Again, we've got those horrid sticky things. Now, I think this one might have been out for a little while. So there's probably already unboxings out there, but I'm gonna share it with you anyway, just because of my own excitement. And I figure if anyone is going to appreciate that excitement, it is my fellow board gamers. Oh, I'm already loving whatever that is. That's cool. It's like the caverns. And on the back, this is pretty cool. We've got that little monologue that Mikey does in the, in the movie. It gets them all pumped for going on their adventure. Sweet treasure map. And it looks like this is a reference guide also. The theming on it's really cool so far. 
the adventure guide for the Goondocks Masters Eyes Only. Okay, so this might be some kind of story thing. Oh, I'm loving this. Okay, so maybe this is a little bit more thematic than I had anticipated. It's got little stories in there. I'm not going to spoil anything for you, obviously. I'm not going to spoil anything for me either. Right, so the actual rules. Nice. We have got 15 pages, a little bit smaller than your average rule book, and there's plenty of um, images in there also. That's nice. And we've got the key on the front there. Lots of tokens to punch out. More of those um, plastic figures. It's nice, they're all different colours, so they're easy to spot as well. I'll put up pictures, but we've got the octopus there as well. Really nice gem dice, and they're all engraved. They're fabulous. They're really good. Ah, and we've got, there must be other figures that go in these little standees, I'm assuming. Yeah. Yep, so there's other things that happen that go in those. They haven't made figures for everything, obviously. What have we got here? The GM's deck. Nice, I'll put up pictures. Oh, I've got to open these. These are the characters. Uh, what? Is that all the characters? Oh no. I feel like I've been let down. So we've got the characters Mikey, Mouth, Chunk, of course, Data, and Sloth. There's no female characters. And we know there's two in the movie. Oh, I feel like that's such a, such a stupid thing to have done. I know they're the main Goonies, but they could have put Martha Plimpton's character in there, couldn't they? Even if they weren't going to put Andy in there. Oh, so annoying. Anyway, the Fratellis, One-Eyed Willy, and a giant octopus. It's such a shame. I don't understand why they didn't add those characters. Lots of tokens. It looks like, oh, this is obviously One-Eyed Willy's ship. They're all nicely done. The thickness is nice. Lots to punch out. And we've got some riddle cards. That's the only other thing in there. And again, it's the same cardboard uh, insert as the Rocketeer. All right, that's it. I just wanted to share my um, excitement with you. Because, as I said, I figured if anyone would appreciate that excitement, it is you guys, because you're board gamers like me. But these look like they're going to be super easy to get to the table as well. So that's it. That's the Goonies and the Rocketeer. If you're around my age group, even younger now because these are cult films i'm sure that you've seen them and if you haven't seen them get them into your blu-ray player or streaming service or whatever you've got and uh, watch them they're 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 good that's it i'll see you on the next one and remember to take care of yourself